Once upon a time, in a world not so different from our own, there existed a kingdom ruled by a wise and just king named Roland. King Roland was known for his compassion and deep belief in the inherent goodness of humanity. He believed that every person, regardless of their background or station in life, deserved love, respect and kindness. The streets were lined with vibrant gardens, where flowers of every color bloomed and laughter filled the air. The people lived harmoniously, helping one another in times of need and celebrating together during joyous occasions. The kingdom had become a shining example of the power of humanity. However, as with any tale, challenges arose. The neighboring kingdom, led by the tyrannical King Cedric, grew envious of King Roland's prosperous and harmonious realm. Consumed by greed and a thirst for power, King Cedric sought to conquer Roland's kingdom and claim it as his own. Word of King Cedric's malevolent intentions reached King Roland's ears. Although he was deeply saddened by the darkness that resided in King Cedric's heart, King Roland remained steadfast in his belief in the power of humanity. He knew that the only way to overcome the impending threat was to unite his people and show them the strength that lay within their collective compassion. King Roland summoned his most trusted advisors and shared his vision. Together, they devised a plan to inspire their people, reminding them of the importance of humanity and the values they held there. They decided to organize a grand festival, a celebration of kindness, compassion, and unity. News of the festival spread far and wide, reaching every corner of the kingdom. The people eagerly prepared for the event, their hearts filled with hope and excitement. They decorated the streets with colorful banners, prepared delicious feasts, and rehearsed dances and songs that celebrated the beauty of humanity. On the day of the festival, the kingdom came alive with vibrant energy. Families, friends, and neighbors gathered in the town square, donning their finest attire and beaming with anticipation. The air was thick with the scent of flowers, and the sweet melodies of musicians filled every corner. As the festival began, King Roland took to the stage, addressing the crowd with a voice filled with warmth and conviction. He spoke of the power of humanity, emphasizing the importance of kindness, empathy, and unity in the face of adversity. His words resonated deep within the hearts of his people, reminding them of the goodness that lay dormant within them. The festival was a sight to behold. Performers captivated the audience with breathtaking acrobatics and enchanting dances, reminding them of the beauty that could be achieved through collaboration and harmony. Artisans showcased their crafts, weaving tapestries and sculpting statues that celebrated the diversity of the kingdom. Amidst the festivities, a young girl named Amelia caught King Roland's attention. Her radiant smile and sparkling eyes were a testament to the genuine joy she felt in the celebration of humanity. The king approached her and asked, Tell me, young Amelia, what does humanity mean to you? Amelia thought for a moment before responding, Humanity is the light that guides us through the darkness. It's the compassion we show to others, the kindness we extend without expectation, and the belief that every person has the potential to make a difference. King Roland was deeply moved by Amelia's wise words. He realized that his mission to highlight the importance of humanity was not limited to the boundaries of his kingdom, it was a universal message that needed to be shared with the world. Inspired by Amelia's insight, King Roland embarked on a journey beyond his kingdom, traveling to neighboring lands and far-off kingdoms, spreading the message of humanity. He shared stories of the festival, the unity it had fostered, and the power of compassion to transform lives. King Roland's message resonated with people from all walks of life. Kings, queens, and common folk alike were inspired to embrace their shared humanity and create a world where kindness and compassion reigned supreme. Kingdoms that were once divided found common ground, and the world slowly began to heal. Years passed and the legacy of King Roland's festival continued to shape the world. People everywhere recognized the importance of humanity, and acts of kindness became a way of life. Orders melted away, and the notion of us versus them faded into the annals of history. Amelia, now grown, became a beacon of hope herself. She dedicated her life to carrying forward the message of humanity, spreading love, 
and inspiring others to see the beauty that lay in the hearts of their fellow human beings. The kingdom of King Roland became a symbol of unity and compassion, a shining example of what humanity could achieve when it embraced its innate goodness. And as the generations passed, the festival of humanity endured, reminding people that they were all connected, that their shared humanity was a bond stronger than any force of division. And so, the story of King Roland, Amelia, and the festival of humanity remained etched in the hearts and minds of people for generations to come. As time went on, the festival of humanity grew beyond the borders of the kingdom. It became an annual event that drew people from all corners of the world, each seeking to immerse themselves in the celebration of their shared humanity. The festival became a vibrant tapestry of cultures, languages and traditions. People from diverse backgrounds gathered, bringing with them their unique stories, music and art. The air was filled with the melodious sounds of instruments from different lands, harmonizing together in a symphony of unity. Workshops and seminars were held, where attendees shared their knowledge and experiences, fostering a sense of understanding and respect for one another's perspectives. It was a time for learning, breaking down barriers, and for realizing that despite their differences, they were all part of the same human family. One year, during the festival, a young artist named Sophia was inspired by the spirit of humanity that surrounded her. She took her paintbrush and began to create a mural that depicted the interconnectedness of all beings. The mural depicted people of different ethnicities, ages and backgrounds holding hands and supporting one another. It became a visual representation of the festival's core message, that by embracing our shared humanity, we become stronger and more resilient. The mural became a symbol of hope and unity. People traveled from far and wide to witness Sophia's masterpiece, each person finding their own reflection in the colorful strokes of paint. It reminded them that despite their individual struggles and challenges, they were not alone. They were part of a global community, bound together by the threads of humanity. Throughout the year, the impact of the festival continued to ripple outward. Communities began organizing their own celebrations of humanity, inspired by the example set by the original festival. Acts of kindness and compassion became the norm, with people going out of their way to help those in need and uplift their fellow human beings. The festival also inspired the younger generation to embrace their own power to effect change. Their enthusiasm and passion became contagious, spreading like wildfire and inspiring others to make a difference in their own communities. As the years passed, the Festival of Humanity grew in scale and influence. It caught the attention of world leaders, who recognized the profound impact it was having on societies across the globe. They came together, setting aside their political differences, to discuss how they could harness the power of humanity to create a more just and equitable world. Through collaboration and mutual understanding, the leaders developed policies and initiatives aimed at addressing the world's most pressing challenges. They prioritized the well-being of all people, regardless of their nationality, race, or socioeconomic status. They worked towards eliminating poverty, ensuring access to quality education and healthcare, and promoting sustainable development. It awakened people to the realization that their individual actions, no matter how small, had the power to shape the world. It reminded them of the inherent goodness that resided within every human being and the limitless potential for positive change. And so, the festival continued to evolve and grow, weaving its way into the fabric of society. It became a constant reminder that humanity, at its core, was a force to be cherished and nurtured. It taught people that the true measure of success was not found in material wealth or power but in the love and compassion they showed toward others. In the end, it was the festival of humanity that transformed the world. It taught people that despite their differences, they were all connected by the common thread of humanity. It reminded them that by embracing their shared values and working together, they could overcome any obstacle and create a future filled with love, compassion and understanding. And so, the Festival of Humanity continued to shine its light, year after year, inspiring generations to come. It served as a beacon of hope, reminding people of the profound impact they could have on the world through acts of kindness, empathy and unity.